Hi friends, in this episode we will see about the closed circuit cooling water. This is a schematic diagram of closed circuit cooling water. This is the buffer tank or storage tank. It is given with a nitrogen blanketing. This is a makeup water. Normally day motor or in boiler feed water is there. That will be used. Service water makeup also will be given. And this is the pump section. And this is going to heat exchanger to get the heat load. Then it is one need the circulation back and uh, one portion is going to the cooling area where uh, air coolers are there to cool the hot water and it is joining to the pump suction. This is the schematic diagram of closed circuit cooling water used in Gulf area. Now we can see about the closed circuit cooling water. It's closed circuit proper level of chemical treatment in the tank with both service water and the boiler feed water or day water makeup can be used to provide a viable cooling water system. The source of water for this service will be fresh water initially but will be displaced with day motor or bottle feed water when it is available that is when plant is commissioned or when plant is lined up. Water will be stored in and returned to the cooling water buffer drum. This is nitrogen blanketed drum and it is located 10 to 5, 15 meters above the ground level to provide pump suction head and to prevent possible process fluid ingress into the CCW circuit due to a rupture or leakage in the heat exchanger and CCCW pump failure. A level controller will be used to control an open close wall to make up the boiler feed water or day water to the drum which will open at a low level around 60% and close on a high level around 80% and automatic mode and nitrogen pressure is maintained around 0.8 to 1 bar nitrogen also prevents corrosion in pipeline as it prevents oxygen entry impact of water chemistry on the system performance alkalinity in water is buffers water where it increases the pH reduces corrosivity to some extent in the presence of calcium and it will react with the calcium salts. Phosphate inhibits corrosion in pretreatment can react with calcium, ferrous, aluminum and zinc and phosphate is a nutrient so it can enhance biological activity so it will inc increase microorganism growth. If chlorides are that will increase the TDS it cause stress and uh, cleavage corrosion and cracking in the pipeline. If sulfate is present, that will increase uh, TDS, can form hot scale with the uh, calcium inside the pipeline. Carbon dioxide uh, will decrease the pH and does not change any alkalinity or anything. Ammonia, if it presents, it increases the pH, may precipitate zinc hydroxide, and it is also a nutrient for biological growth, or microbiological growth will be increased. If an ammonia is there, hydrogen sulfide will precipitate ferrous sulfide and reduces chloride also. If sulfide is there, that will decrease the pH and reduce the chlorides. Oxygen affects the corrosion of iron, and oxygen will oxidize the metal surface, so that will increase the corrosion in the pipeline. Total gelol solids, if it is there, uh, increases corrosivity and increases calcium carbonate and calcium sulfate solubility in the cooling water. Foil increases there, it causes organic falling, biological nut nutrient increases, chloride demand interface with corrosion inhibitors will affect uh, the cooling water system. If suspended solid is present, it causes exchanger fouling, interface with the biocides and can absorb treatments non uh, accessing biases are used that will be affected by these suspended solids. Mineral scale, under certain condition, minerals can form out of solution and form a, into a hard, dense crystal called scale. If that is CD is present, calcium salt that sulfate that will scale, form hard scale. Folding will be formed is the accumulation of solid material other than scale. In a way that hampers the operation of equipment or contributes to its deterioration. 
some common pollens are silt sand mud iron and corrosion products dirt and dust from air process contaminants example oils and corrosion product microbiological growth also will uh, give fouling in the pipeline and heat exchangers corrosion normally due to the tds the mechanism by which metals are reversed back to their natural oxidized state it causes of corrosions are uh, dissolved solids system deposits water velocity and microbiological growth in the cooling water that will increase the corrosion rate there are three types of corrosion one is general corrosion localized uh, pitting corrosion and uh, galvanic corrosion some of the effects of the corrosions are it will destroy the cooling water uh, system metal it will affect the metal surface of the cooling water pipeline corrosion product deposits in heat exchanger it will deposit on the heat exchanger uh, tube site which is uh, used in as a cooling media and tubes heat transfer efficiency will be reduced due to the deposit of the corrosion due to deposit because of corrosion it develops leaks in equipment if the corrosion is more means that will uh, puncture the tube so it leak will form process site and water site contamination will occur because of this uh, leak so process fluid uh, will uh, come in contact with cooling water and uh, that will contaminate the process system process fluid so what if the water leakage is there means water usage will increase so makeup water addition will be increased uh, maintenance and cleaning frequency also will increase because of this uh, corrosion equipment must be repaired and uh, replaced because of the leakage uh, cooling water detects in the tubes are to be identified leaky tubes and to be plugged or replaced if that leaky tubes are more and any leak in any other pipeline that has to be attended or replaced and it will tend to un uh, shut down of the plant in unscheduled manner so corrosion will affect this type of the will give the this type of problem and this is effects of the corrosion if it is uh, not treated properly in the cooling water system now we can see the methods to control corrosion you can use corrosion resistance alloys system ph can be adjusted to reduce the corrosion rate apply protective protective coating cooling water uh, corrosion inhibitors to be used sacrificial anodes to be used to reduce the corrosion corrosion inhibitor chemicals are anodic corrosion inhibitors or nitrates orthophosphates silicates and molybdates any one of this uh, will be used in the as a anodic corrosion inhibitor cathodic corrosion inhibitors are bicarbonates polyphosphate polysilicates and zinc general corrosion inhibitors are soluble oils toluetriazoles and benzotriazoles uh, anodic corrosion all nitrate and molybdates are used in the ccw in gulf region and uh, polyphosphate and zinc sulfates are used as uh, cathodic corrosion inhibitors the factors supporting life of microorganisms now we can see adequate nutrition water carbon nitrogen phosphorus or sulfur if it is present in the water that will uh, support the microorganism growth biological growth will be there suitable habitat and temperature 20 to 50 centigrade and uh, the ph range is 4 to 9 if the ph is uh, acidic then also growth will be more the energy source carbon and sulfate and present in the water that will increase the microorganism growth the most significant nutrient sources of micro organism include hydrocarbons that is oil if oil is leaking from the system and any from loop oil cooler or from any, any other system and loop oil get contaminated with the cooling water that will uh, support the micro organism growth now we can see the problem caused by the micro organism or is as follows fouling and blocking of pipe pore loss of cooling water capacity energy losses degradation of treatment chemicals corrosion of exchangers and pipelines and also it affect health and safety in safety aspect so these are the problem of a microorganism growth microorganism uses some form of organic chemicals example azole or dispersants that can break down the break down and provide food for microbes nutrients such as nitrate are its reaction product nitrate and microbiological growth may occur because of this further if the system utilizes water other than the condensate the microbes such as sulfate reducing bacteria 
may proliferate. Consolidating bacteria will increase the microbiological growth. Therefore, microbiological treatment may be necessary, but unlike an open cooling water system, oxidizing biocide like chlorine, 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 chlorine oxide, ozone, hydrogen peroxide are cannot be used. Typically, are not utilized in closed cooling water circuit because it oxidizes. These are oxidizers and can react with some corrosion inhibitors, which is nitrate or introduce corrosive species chloride to the water. So non-oxidizing wastes are a normally preferred choice. These chemicals function by either damaging the cell walls of microorganisms or interfering with the internal metabolic process to kill the microorganism. Non-oxidizing wastes are methylene-based thiocyanate (MBT). Argonautin carbon, quaternary ammonium salt, copper salts, DPNPA, dibromo, dinitropropino amide. These are all the non-oxidizing biocides used in the CCW in Gulf region to, main, to control or to prevent the microbiological growth in the CCW system. Hope you might have understand the CCW system, chemical used and uh, affect system affected by the corrosion scaling and falling and microbiological growth do not forget to subscribe and share it with your colleagues and friends put your likes and comments in comment box see you in the next episode thank you very much